part one, chapter three of A Clockwork Orange, Alex and his gang, whipped into a hate and murder mood, push their stolen car into a canal and take a train back to town, acting gentlemanly and quiet, at least according to our deplorable narrator. The gang vandalizes the upholstery and Dim shatters the glass with his chain until it cracked and sparkled. Yawning, they walk back to the now crowded Corova Milk Bar, where pop music plays as patrons talk and laugh. Alex shivers with delight when a woman nearby begins to sing an aria he knows, but Dim infuriates Alex by interrupting the song with rude sounds. Alex smacks Dim in the mouth for not knowing how to comport yourself public-wise, and Dim says they are no longer brothers. It isn't right droogs should behave this wise, Pete insists, trying to diffuse the tension, but Alex exerts his authority. Discipline there has to be. Dim ends the argument by saying that they're all tired, each heads home, with Alex going to his parents' house. He passes a mural depicting the dignity of labor, defaced by crude drawings. Walks up ten flights of stairs, since someone has vandalized the elevator doors, and eats the dinner his mother has left out for him. In his room, he listens to classical music, fantasizing violent scenes. Recalling the violence at the cottage, Alex wishes he had ripped the man and woman to ribbons on their own floor. Chapter 3 is all about coming down from the violent intensity of the attack on the cottage, the death of the evening, as Alex calls it. And it reveals more about Alex. Although he enjoys flowing blood and shattering windows, he's oddly fastidious about some things, especially smells and dirt. He desires order. Alex feels superior to most people. Habits that strike him as disorderly or dirty disgust him. Alex justifies striking Dim by saying that Dim has got to learn his place. That is, under Alex's leadership. Now another reason for that attack could be Alex's intense reaction to classical music, which Alex loves deeply. Alex uses the music as a soundtrack for violent fantasies more horrible than the acts he committed earlier in the night. 